Jervis, thanks so much. Tonight only on Fox, a new lawsuit being filed against Alex Murdoch, accusing him and others of trying to frame a teen for a deadly boat crash. They were trying to shift the blame from Paul Murdoch's own son, from Alex Murdoch's own son, Paul, who was facing charges in that boat crash. It happened in 2019 and led to the death of 19-year-old Mallory Beach. Now, that charge was dismissed after he and his mom's death in June. I spoke with the lawyer representing Connor Cook, another teen who was on that boat when it crashed. He tells me that Alex Murdoch was working behind the scenes to blame Cook for the crash. He also says Murdoch encouraged the Cook family to hire an attorney who he knew personally. Here's more from this exclusive interview. You know, I interviewed uh, Dick Carpoulian last week uh, about his representation of Alex Murdoch. And one thing I asked him was, it's a strange coincidence that you have so many investigations surrounding this family. And what he told me was one of his theories about what happened to them is going back to the Mallory Beach. Everyone thought that they were trying to cover up what happened on that boat with Mallory Beach. I thought that was very interesting because he said he believes, you know, people were all upset that uh, they were trying to, quote, cover something up. He said they didn't try to cover things up. But from your lawsuit here, there are a lot of accusations. You mentioned that whisper campaign in Hampton County that... It does appear, at least according to this website or your lawsuit, that the Murdoch family was trying their best, especially uh, Alex, to get these people not to talk and to get the blame off his son. Well, Cody, there, there may be explanations for, for, for what we uh, have found, um, but lawsuits are fact-finding missions, and uh, the lawsuit and its allegations speak for themselves about our beliefs based on what we know today or up until today. And uh, I'm fairly confident that what we're going to find in depositions and interviews uh, are going to support the allegations of that lawsuit. But we'll, we'll see. The lawsuit and the inferences uh, are there for the public to review and, and there for us to continue to explore. And another piece of this lawsuit, I've find uh, very interesting and troubling at the same time is a man's name we've heard a, 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 to a lawyer, Corey Fleming. And it's interesting he keeps popping up uh, in a lot of these cases where it seems where Murdoch's said, hey, you should get this attorney. And it come to find out, you know, he goes, his relationship with Alex Murdoch goes way back to college and he's a godfather to one of the sons. I mean, his name's brought up in this lawsuit and then you have the Gloria Satterfield case it's a bizarre thing that this just keeps happening and it's all coming to light in the last just couple weeks. Well, I mean, these are unfortunate coincidences for Mr. Fleming and perhaps they're mere coincidence. Uh, I don't, not a strong believer in coincidence, but my involvement in this case came about uh, by reason of what the Cook family, the Connor Cook family believed was being done to their son, my job initially was to ensure that uh, the police found their way to charging the right person, not the wrong person. Joe, you know, this, these cases have caught so much attention. Uh, this is not something new for the folks around there. They've seen this, they've been a part of this, but you know, it's caught on nationally. And what do you hope comes out of this? I mean, I think when you read the lawsuit filed, it raises more eyebrows. Like you, like you said, it seems like every week something new is coming out of this and it's raising more red flags to what in the world has been going on there in Hampton County. Well, Cody, what I hope is going to come out of this is the end, the bottom of this today seemingly bottomless pit of new facts, new revelations, and uh, uh, I think that Hampton County is suffering as a community. I know the Cook and the Beaches and the other kids in this boat have all suffered uh, life-changing tragedy, and, and this thing has just got to see an end. The public fascination is understandable, um, but uh, we as lawyers are all trying to I keep peeling this onion until there's no more onion and there are only the facts and ultimately a judgment from a jury. 
Of course, we're going to continue to follow this lawsuit as well as any new developments. As I mentioned, they continue to happen, seems like by the day in the Alex Murdoch case. You can watch the entire interview as well as my previous interview with Alex Murdoch's own attorney on our YouTube channel. While you're there, subscribe. You can also share it as well. Uh, again, that's all under our Fox Carolina News YouTube channel.